Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashom, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashom, HaKadosh. Double honors to the apostles, and others, the great most of well, peace and blessing to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. Shalom. Back at it again with another lesson through the spirit of power. Yahweh, Ba'ashom, Ashai. Lord wounds, lessons, edifying. I'm the brother Ottawa, great most on West Palm Beach. I'm just getting straight to it through the spirit. Um, something I wanted to say was, you know, to always remain humble. No matter how much work you put into this ministry, one thing we must realize is that we're unprofitable servants. You know, as the scriptures say, we have done as what well, was commanded us. So, you know, to uh, boast in your works, okay, is, is foolish. You know, because we can never do enough. No matter how much work we put in, we can never go far enough when it comes to serving the Lord. And even when we've done what we what we've done, you know, do the work day in and day out. All right, you know, hey, we're not saved yet. We haven't made it yet, so we can't just sit back and think that we've just done enough because we haven't. We have to endure to the end. But you know, that doesn't mean that the works that we have done is in vain. Or that they are of no account, you know. But we got to make sure that we stay humble, man. And we got to realize that it's Yahweh Bashem Shai who puts the spirit on us to do these mighty works that we do. Okay. And on top of that, you know, um, considering the fact that you know you may put in, you may be a brother that does a lot of videos or you know stuff of that nature, right? That's that's good. You know, that's a good thing. That's very uh, beautiful that you have the spirit to do a lot of works. All right. But you never want to get lifted up with pride and think that, you know, you can uh, be out of order or that you can have less respect for another brother because he may not be doing as much lessons as you, especially brothers who may be over you in the spirit, you know, according to the rank, according to the order. You know, because te technically the Apostle Paul, he had more books written than, uh, you know, the Apostle Peter. OK, Apostle Paul, he, he pretty much labored more, more abundantly than all the rest of the apostles and the disciples. As the scriptures say, he wrote a big portion of the New Testament, the Apostle Paul. OK. But Peter is still over the Apostle Paul in the spirit. It's still order. You know, so Apostle Paul still showed respect to the Apostle Peter. So you still have to show respect to the men above you. You know, you don't want to be proud just because you do a lot of works. As the scriptures say, not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he falls into the condemnation of the devil, man. You know, doing a lot of lessons and Things of that nature is great. It's great. But you don't want to get puffed up from that. Oh, brother, I do I do three lessons a day. I do two lessons a day. You know, I'm, I'm on fire, brother. And yes, you are on fire. And that's great, brother. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you're doing. May Yahweh Shema Shai bless you for putting in the work in this ministry. All right, in this labor of love. But just because you may be on fire, all right, doesn't give you the right to be proud. Okay? This is 2 Corinthians 11 and 23. It says, are they ministers of Mashiach? I speak as a fool. I am more in labors, more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent, in depths up. So what was the key word of that precept right there? According to the context that we're talking about. He said, I speak as a fool. Okay, why? Because it's foolish to boast in pride. But he said it. I speak as a fool. I am more in labors, more abundant. Meaning what? Yeah, you know, it's foolish to boast. But I'm, a, I'm, I'm more of a minister of Mashiach. I labored more, you know, and, that, and that's facts because the Apostle Paul did put in a lot of work, you know, but he understood to boast 
is uh, foolishness. Okay? It's 1 Corinthians 15 and 1. It says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved. If ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I received, which I also received, how that Mashiach died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, and that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve. Cephas is another name for the apostle Peter. Okay? After that, he was seen above 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that, he was seen of James, then of all the apostles. And last of all, he was seen of me also as one born out of due time. For I am the least of the apostles that I'm not meet to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of the Most High, Yahweh Shemashai. But by the grace of Yahweh Shemashai, I am what I am. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of Yahweh Shemashai, which was with me. That's the key point. That's the key point. The Apostle Paul was so humble. He understood that he put in a lot of work. He understood that he, quote unquote, outworked the rest of the apostles, including the Apostle Peter. The Apostle Peter doesn't have as many books as the Apostle Paul. Right. But the Apostle Peter is still over the Apostle Paul in, in the rank, in the spirit. And the Apostle Paul humbled himself and said, hey, I'm not even worthy to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church. That's humility right there. OK, because he he definitely put in the work of an apostle. But he humbled himself and said, hey, man, I, I persecuted the church at a point in time. I'm not even worthy to be called an apostle. You know, and he said, by the grace of the Lord, I am what I am. So by the grace of Yahweh Shemashai, we are what we are. Whether you be the brother that does uh, uh, two lessons a day, three lessons a day, you know, four lessons a day or, or one lesson a day. Okay? We are what we are through the grace and spirit and power of Yahweh Shemashai. It's not of ourselves, man. Okay? It says, not of works, lest, lest any man should boast. Scriptures say that. The Lord is not looking for us to boast in things of that nature. We need to boast in Him. Okay? And He said, yeah, the grace of the Lord wasn't bestowed upon me in vain. Hey, because I labored more abundantly than the rest of the apostles. But He said, not I. But the grace of Yahweh Shemashai, which was with me, man. And that's what it is. It's Yahweh Shemashai putting the spirit on us to do what we do. As it says in Philippians 2 and 13, For it is Yahweh Shemashai, which worketh in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Right. It's the Lord working in us. All right. To do what we do. It's not because of us. So if the Lord put the spirit on you to be the brother to do a lot of lessons. Just know the Lord put that spirit on you. It's not because you so on fire and you so diligent on your own. Okay. Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are you saved through faith and that are not of yourselves. It is the gift of Yahweh Shemashai, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship created in Mashiach Yahweh unto good works, which the Most High hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Right. We're the Lord's workmanship. We're not our own workmanship. The scriptures say we are the Lord's and not our own. Roughly paraphrasing. Let me see if I can find that. I hope I'm not adding to the word. I'm pretty sure there's a precept like that. I think it's in Psalms, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I'm getting it mixed up with uh, another one.
here it is right here this is psalms 103 it says know ye that the lord he is the most high it is he that hath made us and not we ourselves we are his people and the sheep of his pasture and that's a cut to anybody saying they're self-made all right it's the lord who made us we didn't make ourselves we are not our own as it says also in first corinthians the sixth chapter okay so we can't boast out here like it's it's us why we do the things that we do no okay it's the how about shmuel shy why we do the things that we do okay first corinthians 6 and 19 what know ye not that your body is the temple of the holy spirit which is in you which ye have of Yahweh Shai, and ye are not your own, right? So, the spirit that we have within ourselves, okay, it's not from us, it's from the Lord. You know, so we can't be proud out here, man. We can't be proud, you know? This is uh, 1 Corinthians 8 and 1, not as, now as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifies. Right, knowledge puffeth up. So when you do a lot of works and you got some knowledge, you, you don't want to get puffed up. You always want to remain humble. Okay, and there's a quote that says, the wise man knows he knows nothing. You know, basically, hey, you're never in the spirit of, you got it all figured out. You're always learning, you know? First Corinthians 8 and 2 and if any man think that he knoweth anything he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know but if any man love Yahweh Shemashai the same is known of him right okay so you may think you know something but you don't really know like you should know all right because there's always something to be there's always something to be uh, uh, taught you can always learn something don't ever you know, shut out your heart from picking up on the wisdom of the Lord and being able to be taught a valuable lesson through the Spirit. Okay? The scriptures say, better uh, a wise and poor child than an old foolish king who will no longer be admonished. So you got to be like that wise, poor child, man. That's willing to be admonished. That's willing to hear correction. That's willing to learn. This is Galatians 6 and 3. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. That's right. So you don't want to ever get too high of an opinion about yourself, man. Because at the end of the day, our righteousness is as filthy rags anyways, man. We're nothing but earth and ashes. You know, we really have no reason to be proud. It's Romans 12 and 3 for I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think but to think soberly according as the Most High Yahweh Shemashai have dealt to every man the measure of faith right so we all have our own measure so we can't be out here proud you know because of the measure that the Lord has given us we have to think soberly man Every brother got their own portion. So to boast over the next brother about your portion is not wise. All right? So the point has been made, you know, Lord willing's lesson is edifying. Just because you may do a lot of works, it's still order. You still got to show respect. You still have to be humble. All right? You still have to have humility. You know, don't be lifted up with pride and think, oh, brother, I do this amount of lessons. You know, uh, in a day, so on and so forth, that you that you think that you just you know that you have the right to be proud, cause you don't, man. You know. So Lord wills us was that if I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to you, how about you, shy about you, cock of God, double honors to the apostles and elders, the great most honorable, well, peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. With that, I'm going to say shalom, above all, call me Yashrael.